Okay, a couple of things before I get started. I mentioned above um, the spool caps, and I don't know if I was super clear. These are spool caps, and they go up here on the spool pin. Um, you would get the right size for each type or each size of thread spool. So um, anyway, if, for example, if you used the too small one here, the thread could get caught in this little notch right there and then that would break the needle. So you need it to always be at least bigger than, it's not going to like end the world if you use the big guy on the little spool of thread, but I wouldn't recommend it. I'd go with the right size. Um, maybe that's the rule follower in me, but I think it, I think it will affect it also. Um, so that's spool caps. Um, on from that, we're going to go up here. This is the part of the machine I didn't really show yesterday, but I did show in the photo above. Um, you can see really clearly here my solid line and my dotted line. Um, and then even up here, it's very specific about making sure that it comes around kind of clockwise and then goes through. So um, I, I hope, I assume that your machine will also have that clear of directions, but if not, that is the direction that you're gonna wanna come around the spool of thread. And that'll be for any machine. So. Um, if you want to double check that, that's the direction you want to come around the spool. And then I have a little blade here. I don't know if you can see within these little things. So I can actually pop my spool on and get the, and then just wrap the string around once and then pull it and it cuts the string and gets it all tucked away neatly. Okay, so on to bobbins. I did want to show you this little pack. Like this is specifically for my machine. Um, I think you can even order these on Amazon. You could go to a dealer if you um, have a if you have like a, a brother dealer in your area, or um, even a Joann's. Definitely Joann's on the Notions wall. You can find um, bobbins for your machine. But just get make sure you have the right bobbin for your machine. I also wanted to show you my little case of this is a bunch of different colors of loaded bobbins. I also have a bunch of white ones, and I think even. In here I keep some spools ready to roll. So that's all the background. Um, I am going to try and set this camera up so you can see. Hmm. Well that ought to do it. Oh goodness. Okay, so um, empty bobbin and I'm going to use gray thread so that it'll show nicely. I'm gonna stick my spool cap on as far as it goes down, and then I will pick you up so you can see. Um, you're gonna go behind that thread guard plate, beneath, and then kind of just a little bit through the pretension di disc, not around it. And then you're coming around to here where I will have to set you down again. And I'm gonna pop my bobbin on, wrap it around once, catch it in that thing, and pull, and that tears it. Um, turn my machine on, and then just pop this into bobbin loading mode, and hit the pedal. Now, I always think it's a really good idea to like pause after you get it going, take a quick look, make sure that it is, um, loading evenly and boy lighting wise you can't really see it super well but um it is sometimes it, it loads loosely and that just means it hasn't gone through the pretension disc properly um anyway so you should be good load it as full as it'll go this little doodad here can be unscrewed and moved one way or the other but that is going to be your stopper kind of your governor for not overloading your um bobbin make it go fast and get it loaded and I'm running out of thread and then I'm gonna just give it some tension there we go all right well that was successful and um, if you, obviously, if you don't run out of your spool of thread, you would just snip that loose. And um, then make sure when you're finished to switch this back to the left position so that you can roll. And um, that's all.
All right, now that my little bobbin spool is loaded, I'm going to uh, thread it into my machine. So now, like I said before, um, there are really two types of uh, machine bobbin styles. Mine is the drop load where it just drops in from the top. Other machines will, um, you'll have to take this front casing off, flip it down, and then there's actually going to be like a little casing right in here and that you pop out and load. Um, I don't have one of those machines with me, so I can't show you, um, but um, goodness, I'll see what I can do. Anyway, I'll show you the drop load for now. Um, so I'm going to pop this off, and this is actually a pretty simple little process. I'm going to turn the machine on for a little more light. Okay, I'm going to do this one-handed. Now again, it's going to have directions. It's telling me which direction to make sure my thread is, ground, is going. And so I just drop it in, as it says, and just run it behind there. And then there's that little blade where I can just pull and that stops it there. Now, um, I'm going to have to thread my machine before I pull the bobbin thread up. Uh, so we'll do that now and then come back to pulling the bobbin thread up. And now on to actually threading the rest of the machine. So I'm going to lift up my hood. I have another spool of almost empty thread. Um, that is just how it goes sometimes. And then my large spool cap right down on the spool pin, all the way down. And then I'm going to have it go behind the thread guide plate, under this thread guide here, and then just follow the thread path that you see here. Of course I need to, oops, it's hard to do with one hand. There we go. And then just following this thread path. There is, if you can see, kind of in that little window, that little metal thing is the take-up lever. A lot of machines it's exposed and so you'd be able to see that. I have a little window to kind of show it, but that's about it. I need to make sure my needle is in the up position um, to make sure that my take-up lever is also there. If I move my hand wheel, you can see it disappears, or maybe you can't see, but I've got it back up. You can only thread the machine if the take-up lever is up here visible in the window or in some cases just visible up at the top. And that's got the thread and that's going to keep the tension right. Now I need to just stick it behind the little guide there, the needle guide, and then through the thread guide disc. I bring it over here because I'm going to use my needle threader. Now if I just wanted to thread it myself, I could just come straight down from here and thread it through. But I'm going to go through the thread guide disc, cut my thread, pull down on my lever, and have it thread that way. Um, and then the other thing you want to do is make sure that it's going, that your thread is pulled right to the back of the machine. And then from there, if I can set this down, I'll um, actually load the bobbin thread too. Oops. Okay. Um, so best way to do this, I, I could just press my little needle up and down button, but just in case y'all don't have that, I'm just going to turn my hand wheel towards me so the needle goes all the way down and all the way back up. And you can kind of see where this thread is coming across as I turn the hand wheel but I have to be holding my thread as I do it, so you're not going to be able to see, but there, it's catching the bobbin thread. See what's happening there? And then, so I just keep pulling my little white thread, and then the best way to make sure you've got the bobbin thread for sure, I use this guy. You can use your scissors or something and just pull through to make sure that they've both been caught, and they have. So you can replace your little bobbin guard. And then in order to begin sewing, and I'll cover this in the future too, but just make sure your bobbin thread and your needle thread or upper thread are both pulled backwards to the back of the machine to get going so nothing gets caught under there. And it's threaded. <laughs>